Hi, I'm Ali. I'm one of the physios from TreatMyAchilles.com. Today we're talking about orthotics and Achilles tendinopathy. So the question being, should I get some orthotics? So insoles to put in my shoes or my trainers when I'm doing sports or activities, if I have an Achilles tendinopathy and if so, which one should I get? Well, what we've been doing is having a look at the research and what this says about orthotics and Achilles. And there is a lot of research out there and lots of them compare whether you use orthotics, so the insoles, for an Achilles tendinopathy and then not doing anything at all. And other studies compare having these orthotics in your feet and doing exercise, which we know is one of the best um, treatments we've got out there for an Achilles tendinopathy, compared to just doing the exercise, compared to not doing anything at all. And when we've looked at these research papers and also looked at reviews of all of the research put together and trying to find out whether there's a theme, there has been no conclusive evidence that putting orthotics in your shoes is superior to doing exercise. And what that means is there's no real evidence to say, yes, please go out and spend some money on some orthotics to put in your shoes. The evidence is showing that exercise is the most superior treatment that there could possibly be and there's no need to add insoles in to that. Now if we look at different parts of where you might feel pain when you have an Achilles tendinopathy, you might feel pain in this mid portion, so that means the middle section of that Achilles if you were to squeeze it from top to bottom and find a tender spot or you might feel pain right at the very bottom where that Achilles attaches into your heel and that's called insertional Achilles tendinopathy. And if we had to be picky about whether we'd use orthotics that treat my Achilles, if you had a really, really, really sore insertional tendinopathy of your Achilles, when you were walking, you couldn't really put your foot to the ground, that early morning symptoms wasn't really easing, then we would consider putting a heel raise underneath your heel, between your heel and the insole of your trainer. So your foot be on more of a sloping position. And the reason we would do that is to try and alleviate symptoms and it would only ever be for the short term with the aim to take that heel raise away and for you to walk more normally again. Now what happens with an Achilles tendon is as it comes down and attaches into the heel bone, it obviously becomes closer and closer to that heel bone. So you get an area of compression and this compression force should happen and is really normal and natural in your Achilles tendon. Now, if you have pain right at the bottom, you can see that's the point where there's the most compression. So if we were thinking, what could be causing this insertional Achilles tendinopathy, one could be the load and what we're doing through it, so how much tensile strength and what is happening in that Achilles, and the other is how much compression is going through that Achilles. If we put it on an ever so slight angle, we're reducing that compression element, and therefore it's like taking some pressure off a bruise, so it's not being continually pressed, and therefore allows some of those symptoms to calm down. If you were to just do that and then not do anything to make that tendon more robust and happy, then you would be alleviating symptoms in the short term. You wouldn't be changing the pathology or the reason why you're getting that Achilles problem. And therefore, that wouldn't be the solution in its entirety. That would be one part that we would do to then build onto an exercise programme. So in a nutshell, please don't rush out and start buying orthotics for your shoes and your um, running trainers. What we need to do is have a look at what's causing your symptoms and a progressive exercise programme. Thank you very much.